Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about histograms. And let's go through some properties of histograms. A histogram divides up the range of possible values in a data set into classes or groups. Frequency is indicated by the height of the bar in a histogram. And a histogram has an appearance similar to a vertical bar chart, but there are no gaps between the bars. So let's talk about the comparisons between a bar chart and a histogram. And we have this nice table laid out to go through our differences and similarities. We have, if we compare the usage, um, a bar chart is used to compare different categories of data, where a histogram is used to display the distribution of data. We're looking about the spread of our data, our distribution. And the types of variables differ slightly. So we have categorical values that are used for a bar chart, like if we're looking for people, how many people with a dog or cats, different categories. Where histograms, we're talking about numerical variables. The rendering or the drawings for each, for a bar chart, each data point is rendered as a separate bar. In a histogram, the data points are grouped or rendered based on the bin value. The entire range of data value is divided up into a series of non-overlapping intervals. So um, a histogram, you're putting things into bins or categories of certain numbers, like 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 10 to 15, things like that. So you have these bin systems we put things into as opposed to a bar graph that just puts things as a separate bar. The spaces between bars, a bar chart can have spaces between the bars, and a histogram does not have spacing between the bars. And reordering bars, a bar chart, you can change the order, but in a histogram, you can't change the order because you're generally working from least to greatest, and you have these set bins, and you're not going to just move them um, that are not in numerical order. So as opposed to a bar chart, you could just switch which variable you want um, to display. So let's look at an example. So let's go through quite an extensive example. We have Adam West Regional High School is hosting a marching band competition. Make a histogram based on the size of each band. Each band is placed into a category based on the number of members. So we have a category of 1A bands, and those have up to 49 members. A 2A band would be between 50 and 99 members. 3A band would be 100 to 149 members. And a 4A band, 150 to 199 members. 5A, 200 to 249 members. So this really sets up our bin system for a histogram because just based on the number of members, you're going to be in a certain category. We have 0 to 49, 50 to 99, 100 to 149. So that puts each of these bands into one of these categories, which is ideal for a histogram. So let's look at who all is coming to the Adam West Regional High School Band Competition. We have a long list of names. And we have names of all these high schools, and then we have the size of their marching band. So now we need to go through and figure out how many are in each bin or each category. So let's start with the 1A band, and 1A bands are up to 49 members. Well, we have Middleburg has 41, we have St. Augustine has 36, and I believe that is it for 1A bands. We have two bands that are in our 1A category. Then let's move up to the next category. We have two A bands are from 50 to 99. We have those in blue. We have Fletcher, Orange Park, Clearwater, Egali, Eustis, Naples, Sebring, Vero Beach. That gives us eight bands in the category of 2A. That's from 50 to 99 members. Let's move up to 3A. 3A is going to be from 100 to 149 members. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six bands in the 3A category. 4A is bands from 150 to 199. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. And that leaves left our big bands of 5A. There's 200 to 249 members. One, two, three, 
four. We have four bands in the 4A category that have between 200 and 249 members. So now we have our bands grouped, our number of bands in each category grouped into our bins. We're ready to draw our histogram. So we want a title. We have size of marching band. Then we're going to have our bin system, 0 to 49, 50 to 99, 100 to 149, 150 to 199, 200 to 249. So there are even intervals, and there are even intervals that are not overlapping. There's not one band that's in two different categories. So each of them have their own category or their own bin to be in. And then up the left side, we have number of bands. So we're going to be able to count the number of bands that are in each category. So in our first category, we had two bands that had between 0 and 49 members. And so this kind of groups them all together of saying those are that size band that are 0 to 49. As opposed to like a stem of leaf that would give you individual data, this is summarizing data. It's putting them together. There are two bands in that category. From 50 to 99, we have eight bands from 50 to 99 members. Then we did the 100 to 149, we counted six bands. 150 to 199, we counted seven bands. And from 200 to 249, we counted four bands. So notice how there's no gap between our bars uh, histogram. They touch each other. We don't leave gaps like you would in most bar graphs. But the histograms have the bins, and you have your touching bars. Otherwise, it does have bars that go up and down, but it doesn't have any spaces in it, and they're based on bin system or categories. Then we can take our graph, our histogram, and we can answer some questions about it. We might get questions like, how many bands are participating in the competition? All right, well, we can add those up. We could go back to our list and count, but we already have this nice summary. We can do 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 and get that we have 27 bands in our competition. Let's do another question. How about how many bands have 100 or more members? Well, this group doesn't count. This group doesn't count. But once we get to here, 100 to 149, 150 to 199, 200 to 249, all of these three bars on our histogram are 100 or more. So we have 6 plus 7 is 13 plus 4 is 17. So we have 17 bands that have 100 or more members. All right. I hope that helps you guys get started with histograms. Have a great day.